iPhone 5s iOS 10.3.2 versus iPhone 5s iOS 10.3.3 that video is coming up right now let's go <laughs> So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iOS 10.3.2 versus the iOS 10.3.3 video between the iPhone 5S and the 5S. Now for this particular video, I'm not going to take this phone and versa versus this phone because this one is running 10.3.2, this one is running iOS 11 public beta 1. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this as a clock and I'm going to go ahead and test this speed on here first, go ahead and update this guy to 10.3.3 and then we're gonna see how much better it has gotten if it's gotten better now since this is just a bug fix here for 10.3.3 we're just gonna do a speed test maybe run a browser test camera test and see how the speed improvements and fluidity has gotten on over the update because that's really what we want to see going forward so I'm gonna open the clock here make sure everything is closed out here on this 5s let me close everything out and begin this test so let's begin in three two let's go and you can see calendar is open calculator clock let's go to weather really quickly let's come home let's go to settings let's come out of there let's go into amazon and let's come out of there once it does load so third-party apps is where the iphone 5s starts to choke up a little bit in 2017 is in the third-party apps that's where it gets a little bit slower here especially on these newer versions like 10 ios 10 and above so you can see there is ebay let's go to youtube and you see just how massively it slowed down after we got out of the system applications so let's hit allow here for youtube let's come out of here let's go into instagram and you can see Instagram shall open right now. There is Instagram. Let's go to Temple Run. And Temple Run is a game now, so it should be opening just about now. So there's Temple Run. Let's go to Jetpack Joyride. And you should see Jetpack Joyride should be opening very shortly here. I do have 45 app updates, but we'll do those later. <laughs> so you can see Jetpack Joyride should be ready to go. There it is. Let's go into the App Store and you could see just about come on 5s you could do it you can do it i'm cheering you on okay we got a problem here for the app store so we're just going to come out of there and let's go to safari and you can see safari should be opening here and is it going to open is the 5s going to open there it goes one minute and 35 seconds so not the fastest kid on the block anymore but let me go ahead and confirm that we are running ios 10.3.2 so you think i'm not lying to you there you go 10.3.2 14f89 now let's go into the software update and let's update this guy to the 10.3.3 so you should see it does have a software update available in just a second it's just checking and i'll be back when we do start to download this guy so you can see right here ios 10.3.3 is available for the iphone 5s and it is an 82.3 megabyte update but before we do that let's confirm the storage i do have so i have 35.3 gigs of Available. I'm gonna hit software update and I'm gonna go ahead and download and install this so I'm gonna enter my passcode in just a second but remember right now it is 9 29 a.m. let's see how long it does take so I'll be right back when this is done updating alright guys so we are now in iOS 10.3.3 for the iPhone 5s so if I go over into settings here and I go into general and I go into about you can see iOS 10.3.3 14G60 and we did not really gain any space maybe 300 megabytes or 0.3 megabytes here on the gain but this thing took about 25 minutes to do the entire process and that's quite long for an 82 megabyte update so if you are going to be updating this to 10.3.3 just know it's going to take 20 to 25 minutes. So guys, even though the iOS 10.3.3 is not really an update in terms of visual features, there's really no features here with 10.3.3, it does bring bug fixes behind the scenes that are absolutely critical for you to go ahead and get. So I do recommend you download this regardless of the fact that it brings no features. It's gonna keep your iPhone safe because there's you know an exploit inside of the Wi-Fi chip here for 10.3.2 that could cause hackers to easily manipulate web content and stuff like that as well 
well as the Wi-Fi chip, there was an arbitrary code issue there. So I would go ahead and download this if you want to be on the safe side of iOS until iOS 11 drops here for your iPhone 5S. But we got a score of 135.61 on 10.3.2. Let's do this again and see if anything has changed in terms of performance in three, two, let's go. Calendar, let's come out of there. Let's go on the calculator. Come out of there, let's go on the clock. Come out of there, let's go into weather. Let's come out of there, let's go into settings. Let's come out of there, let's go into Amazon. And here's where it starts to slow down again is in the third party apps. And you can see Amazon should be just about done. Let's go into eBay. Let's see what happens here for eBay for the 5S. Again, it's still slow on these third party apps. So we're not seeing any speed improvements really here for the Apple iPhone 5S on 10.3.3. It's probably just bug fixes like I mentioned. So let's go into Instagram and you should see, remember 135.91 on the last one. Let's go into Temple Run and you could see Temple Run should be done quite quickly here. And it's done there. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. Actually, it's looking like it might be a little bit faster here for this update. Well, Jetpack Joyride might slow us down a little bit though. Let's see what happens here. Okay, 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 come on 5S. Okay, let's go there. Let's go to App Store. And are we gonna have a load issue again? No, we're not, not this time. So let's go into Safari. And you can see Safari is done. So we're gonna stop it here at about 1.17.73. Now I do remember when I was on 10.3.2, App Store didn't load, so that added like five seconds to it. And Safari did load about the same time. So definitely, you know, this is a slight update in speed as well as you see right here, 20 seconds difference, even waiting a little bit on the App Store, it's still slightly faster here on 10.3.3. So it is a recommended download if you are on 10.3.2. And that's gonna wrap it up here for me of the iPhone 5s iOS 10.3.2 versus the iPhone 5s iOS 10.3.2. Point three. We'll have to test the battery a little bit more to see how the battery life is on this latest version. But if you guys found this video helpful, do me a favor, click that like button for me. Comment your thoughts, suggestions, feedback, what you would like to see going forward. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this. Nick here helping you master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.